Time to revolt, Louisville. Time to stand up. It's time to revolt. It's time to take back our streets, take back our democracy. It's time for unity, some solidarity. It's time to actually get some social change. The only way you can get social change is through a revolution. Without a revolution, you ain't got no social change. You just you just uh, banging up a, a drum set to a knife fight. You know, why are you going to bring a drum set to a knife fight? This is real world life. <laughs> you like a little drummer boy coming up to sharks and the whatever the other Puerto Rican bunch was in West Side Story. You know what I'm talking about. So, may love and light always lead you forward and onward and all the way wherever and wherever go with light and love. May wisdom and gentleness always guide your speech forward and onward and all the way wherever and whenever. Go with wisdom and gentleness. May hope and happiness always be with you forward and onward and all the way, wherever and wherever. Go with hope and happiness. Keep these six angels close to your heart and they will guide you in all life matters. God is guidance. Hope and happiness, wisdom and gentleness, love and light. Catholicism is the church of the slum-dwelling immigrant poor. So when the poor Germans and Irish got here, the Catholics took them in and it had its own version of social conscience that helped pave the way for the mainstream trade unions of the 20th century. So the Catholic Church helped the trade unions develop. If you love somebody, if you love something, you don't want them to be injured. That's my son, that's my daughter, that's my wife, that's my house. God damn it, you ain't gonna fuck with it. You even think about fucking with it, you'll get fucked with. So... If a man lays their hand on you, you send them to the cemetery. The best kind of friend is the kind you sit on a porch with and swing with and never say a word, and then you walk away feeling like it was the best goddamn conversation you've ever had. A new constitution, a more progressive constitution, would help out Kentucky's failed democracy, economy, and state. We need a new constitution, Kentucky. Let's have a constitutional convention. I bet we couldn't do it. I bet y'all couldn't organize one. The Egyptian po protesters were focused on legal and political issues, many of which apply to Louisville's host of problems, including police brutality, state of emergency laws, lack of free elections, and freedom of speech. They just passed laws against freedom of speech recently. Uh, Mayor Fisher, uncontrollable corruption and economic issues, including high unemployment, food price inflation, and low minimum wages. The primary demands from protest organi organizers were the end of the Hosni Mubarak regime, and the end of emergency law, freedom, justice, a responsive non-military government, and a say in the management of Egypt's resources, strikes by labor unions, added to the pressure on government officials, Mubarak's government imposed a curfew that protesters defied, and that the police and military did not enforce. Chris Hedges said that the tip tipping point of Occupy Wall Street revolution will be when the police recognize themselves with us, the 99%, the protesters, and they don't attack us. So, if... Um, with like a, uh, Sergeant Shamar Thomas, uh, the Marine who is yelling at the New York Police Department and about how there's no honor in attacking innocent civilians, that it wasn't a war zone and how it was bullshit that the cops were fighting against their own citizens in America. Eventually the police, virtually all white men, not knowing to do with an angry black man in a military uniform, uh, speaking out about the intimidation of the constant police presence who was wearing you know, his uniform with his medals was pushed back into submission and they all just walked away which was effective in taking Sergeant uh, Shamar Thomas's voice away w from an impressive stunned police force background into a regular dude who's out here working on changing our country without using violence though I was nervous that uh, anything could have happened at that time in Louisville in 2000 the age distribution was 24 percent under the age of 18 so about one-fourth of Louisvillians are under the age of 18 nine percent from 18 to 24 30% from 25 to 44, 23% from 45 to 64, and 13% who are 65 years of age or older. This means that 65% of Louisville is under the age of 44. We're progressive, and while that's not 99%, 65% is the majority. The median age was 37 years for every 100 females age 18 and over. There were 87.6 males in Louisville in 2000, so this means that there are more females than males. It also means that the baby boomer generation is smaller 
than their children's bubble, the baby boomers' baby boomers. That bubble is larger than the original baby boomer, boomers, and since Louisville is made up of mostly young folks, getting them excited about politics should be easier, and getting this information generation up out of their chairs should be easier than ever. Plus, all a day of rage would consist of would be for all of Louisville to get out of their houses and stand on the sidewalk. That's all you would have to do, Louisville, for a day of rage. <laughs> Louisville, for a day of rage, okay? It's, it's not a day of rage. Oh, it's anger. Oh, I'll oh, be scared. No, don't be scared. Walk out of your house and stand on the sidewalk. I'm here on 4th and Hill, so for a day of rage, if I don't want to organize and get other people and march and protest and shake my fist or do whatever, all I got to do is walk out and stand on the sidewalk. And I stand on the sidewalk and I see everybody else who's standing on the sidewalk and then we're in solidarity. And then people can see that and that has, you know, that has an effect. And then we talk to each other and then maybe we organize and we all go down to Jefferson Square and have our Tahir Square moment here in Louisville. Let's go Egyptian Louisville. I mean, like, you know, first of all, why not? We're Americans, so that's our right as Americans, but even more so it's our right as Kentuckians. Section 4 of Kentucky's Constitution says that revolutions are legal. If we aren't getting happiness and peace, safety, and our property isn't being protected, revolution. You're allowed to have a revolution. So, it won't take much. Just stand outside. Walk outside. That's a day of rage. I think uh, you would want to get, you know, go downtown with everybody else, but you don't have to. Strut outside. This is my day of rage. Ah, yeah. Well, all right, I did my part. Go in if you want to, but the more that you stand out, the more, you know, the more you do, the better, of course. Um, and and you're showing your solidarity, so you can do you you yo yo, you can read a book, meet your neighbor, say hello to somebody who passed them by, try to strike up conversation with a new person, meet somebody new, learn something from them, teach them something. I don't know, I'm more of a walker myself, not much of a standard, but to each his or her own. The Egyptian Revolution of 2011. Started on January 25th, Tahir Square was packed with millions of people on February 8th, 2011. The Egyptian Revolution was thrown by the students. They had a 26-page plan, and I know eight of those pages. I don't know the other 18 pages, which they circulated through email, and they warned not to post it on Facebook and Twitter. The students who started the revolution had taken a class called Social Mobilization in an Authoritarian Regime. Social Mobilization in an Authoritarian Regime. Straight up. Revolution class. Here's a class, and we're going to learn about revolution. So big surprise that the students there went on, and they worked for two years on the revolution. They worked for two years on the revolution in Egypt. So it shouldn't take much to throw a day of rage, because all that's required of the public is for them to get out of their houses and stand on the sidewalk. That's it. That's all you got to do. If you're a citizen of Louisville, stand on the sidewalk. Get out. See ourselves. See thousands of ourselves. For security, we'll have a security force. Well, we'll invite the National Guard in order to protect us from a police riot. So, we'll have security ourselves. We'll be securing ourselves, making sure nobody's doing some asshole bullshit. Or we invite the National Guard if the police go willy-nilly. Louisville Metro, LMPD. Hasn't been the same since Robert White's been gone. Hasn't been the same. Currently, Kentucky is working on figuring out who the new, next chief executive was. When I wrote this, this was before the governor's election. We could have had a day of rage for Kentucky right before the governor's election. Instead, the day of rage come after U uh, UK won their uh, NCAA championship. So that's when we start getting crazy and violent. We don't care about the poverty or the low turnout rate or the corruption or the um, stolen elections or the highway robbery or the corporations running roughshod or the King Cole robbing us out of our tax dollars or the low money for education and health care and roses and bridges and we don't give a fuck about the nepotism and how there's only some people being benefited from the graft spoil system of Kentucky instead of uh, an equitable distribution that helps those who need it the most. How come um, yeah, you, ain't, you ain't distributing what's at the state? Very well, Kentucky. What what the fuck is up with that, Brashear? Steve Brashear? How come you can't distribute Kentucky's money evenly to everybody? You keep on giving more money to these fucking prisons. Fuck the prisons. Fuck the war on drugs. You're wasting your fucking money on that shit, man. That's some bullshit. You're throwing people in jail and you're giving them a fucking record. You need to be spending money on education for every dollar that you spend on education is a dollar that you don't have to spend for prison later on. Invest in education. Preventive money is better than emergency money. 
Brashear in Frankfurt, all the state representatives, state representatives, the state senator. Ugh. Oh. Seriously, Kentucky's economy is a fucking joke. Kentucky is the fifth poor state in America. We're not poor, we're po. Hell, 15 of the poor, poorest counties are located right here in Kentucky, the same place LBJ came and visited in 1964 when he declared his war on poverty. 1964. That's nearly, that's 48 years ago, almost 50 years ago. 50 years ago. They used Kentucky as a, an example for poor people. And Kentucky's still that poor. We haven't got better 50 fucking years. The 60s failed. The hippies failed. The anti-war movement, they kind of won. But because Nixon pulled out. Nixon was the one that pulled the troops out. It was him. It was a decision maker. We need more radicals to be decision makers. Tired of standing outside, throwing rocks at the windows. To be on the inside, making the decisions. So, um... There's a belt of 15 poor counties in eastern Kentucky. That's the ghetto of America, the trailer park of America. Our poverty ranking has increased from 15.4% to 18.4% over the past eight years under both the Republican and Democrat administration. So we're getting poor. The state's median. That's, uh, I guess, adults. 25% of our kids are poor, and 50% of all of us are poor, but, like, not poor, poor, like, kind of poor, poor, like lower middle class poor. So, the state's median household income fell in 2010, forcing one in three Kentucky households to live on less than $25,000 a year. Our unemployment rate is at an all-time high. With Steve Brashear walked into the governor's mansion, unemployment was 5.6%. Now it's 9.5%, and that's just the statistics that they're telling us. It doesn't count discouraged workers. It doesn't count college students. It doesn't count old people. So, it's not the entire unemployment rate. I'm sure we're at Great Depression levels. They were saying 20, 30 percent unemployed in Appalachia, and I know some counties are worse than that, 30 or 40 percent. Um, it's the only county. It's, the, it's only counting those who have filed for unemployment benefits for those who are not working, haven't filed, and even though you're unemployed, the state doesn't count you. So if you don't file for unemployment benefits, I didn't file many times, so I wouldn't have been considered part of the statistics. So this means Kentucky's unemployment is much more higher than the overly conservative 9.5 percent figure from Kentucky's Bureau of Labor Statistics. So our economy, ha as it always has been since 1792, since Kentucky manifested itself as a state commonwealth, as a part of the United States of America, has remained in the shitter. Not only our economic woes, but our statistics on health, education, child welfare are among the worst in, in the entire uh, country. America, uh, Kentucky is the number one state for cancer, tooth decay, child deaths, and child abuse cases, fastest growing prisons, and for the poorest mental health. America is the craziest country in the world, and Kentucky is the craziest state in America. So when it comes for crazy, Kentucky's got way more than our fair share. We got more for insanity per capita than any other state in this country. We got more insanity, more crazies, more crazy people, more in, in uh, um, people off the rocker who's lost their fucking mind, people who's, uh, you know, uh, um, I don't know, a nut job, a complete fucking nut job, just gone just has lost it <laughs> so that's Kentucky uh, overall as a whole Kentucky is poor sick dumb we have no tea our faces are peeling off with meth we got cancer our children are dying because of evil fucking parents toxic parents we got a state cutting food stamps while spending more in prisons or getting rid of fucking food and heat and education, clothing, things we need. The very bottom, the very first tier of Maslow's hierarchy, the physiological and biological needs, there's seven tiers. And if you ain't even helping us with the first tier of Maslow's hierarchy, you're not defending our life. And Section 4 of the Constitution says we have a right to revolt, and we should revolt. We should have a revolution, a peaceful revolution, peaceful, prolonged demonstrations, street demonstrations, with a clear list of demands, a list of ten Ten items, a list of ten things of what it is that we the people in Louisville want out of our government. That's what we should do. That's what needs to happen. A day of rage. It's legal here in Kentucky. We're uh, the consolidated city is underneath KRS. So state law works for Louisville too. State law is Louisville law. Occupy Louisville. Viva la revolution.